this bootstrap example, we're going to be looking at a data set that is in this textbook by Chihara and Hesterberg. It's called MathStats with resampling and R. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and check that out. All right, so in this example, we have beer and hot wings. So at Williams Bar, I guess they serve beer and hot wings, and this researcher was interested in the relationship between the number of beers consumed and the number of hot wings consumed. So the researcher was thinking, perhaps people who consume more hot wings are also going to consume more beer. All right, so what this researcher did was go to Williams and um, ask 30 patrons to keep track of how many hot wings they consumed and how many um, beers they consumed. All right, so we have n equals 30. And if we have a random sample, then we know that that random sample of 30 patrons represents the population of all patrons at Williams Bar in Uptown. All right, so if we're interested in the linear relationship between the number of beers consumed and the number of hot wings consumed, we know that we're doing linear regression. So um, if we have beer as a response, then the number of beers is going to be equal to alpha plus beta times the number of hot wings consumed. All right, so we are interested primarily in beta because that one tells us, okay, if a person eats one more hot wing, then we predict that they will consume beta more beers. So this is the one that we're going to be interested in in this case. All right, so if we have n equals 30, and we're probably not going to have normally distributed number of beers consumed, that's probably going to be right skewed because it's a count, um, then we can do the bootstrap stuff. So we need to create our bootstrap distribution. All right, so what we're going to do is repeat the following two steps 10,000 times. We're going to randomly sample 30 observation, observations from our original data set. And then we're going to do a regression using those 30 observations. All right, so we use those 30 observations in our resample to estimate the intercept and the slope in our regression equation. Then we're going to keep track of beta hat. We could also keep track of alpha hat, too. That doesn't matter. So we keep track of the beta hats because we're going to put that into our bootstrap distribution. So all of these beta hats that we um, calculate from doing this repeatedly those create our bootstrap distribution. All right, so we end up with a bootstrap distribution for beta hat, and remember that simulates or approximates the sampling distribution for beta hat. So then what we can do is go ahead plot it out, and then say that we want to have a 92% level of confidence. Then that means that we'll have 8% left over to be split between the two tails. So we want to have 0.04 in this tail and 0.04 in that tail. And so we look for what are these two points these two quantiles that we have, 0.04 in this tail and 0.04 in that tail. And these two points then will comprise our 92% confidence interval for the slope, beta hat. 